Hello again, this is Bracer Robin coming to you from Parts Unknown here today to talk about the upcoming WWE draft that's happening tonight on Raw, actually. I'm just going to, I think, due to the retirement of Edge, calling it quits to a great career due to injuries, I think they just resorted to a draft to shuff things up because now the SmackDown roster is still, like lost a really important member. So I think the whole reason for that, they're going to move somebody important to SmackDown, they're going to shuffle things around just to fresh things up anyway. And usually a little post WrestleMania is usually when they do this anyway, so it worked out well, I guess. I think I'm going to do a little few predictions. I'm going to pick five from each roster who I think will be going from each show based on my picks. Some may be controversial, some may be blatantly obvious, and I, my opinion may differ than, differ than some of yours. But, you know, to least in that, then you just reply down below and we'll talk about it. I, I like discussion. So, right away, like I said, the one's going to SmackDown. I think that's the whole reason they're doing this. My first pick is actually going to be a controversial one. Some people, I've never seen this predicted anywhere. Some people may not agree, but I think Randy Orton is going to go to SmackDown. I think he's going to finish his feud with CM Punk. They're going to keep him out of like the Raw title picture for a bit because they've already got Miz and Cena on the go now and all that stuff. So I think the best move for Orton would be to go to SmackDown. And seeing that my prediction coming up for the next few review is for Alberto Del Rio to win the world title. I think that Randy Orton would be a great feud with Alberto Del Rio, as much as I'd like it to be Christian. He'll probably be involved somewhere, but I'm thinking Orton versus Del Rio is going to be the next feud for SmackDown for their pay-per-views, like for their main event picture. And again, if you disagree with this, feel free to comment below. I, I'd like to hear some opinions on that. Also going to SmackDown, I think, due to what happened a couple weeks ago, he wins his way into a number one contender match to headline a pay-per-view against Miz and Cena. Is our truth, of course, and then the next week they take him out of it and replace him with John Morrison. I, first I was like, why the hell did they do that? And then I think, okay, now there's a draft come up. He's moving. That's why they're doing that. So that's why I think he's going to go. And probably be a nice place for him. He hasn't done a whole lot on Raw lately, so maybe this will fresh things up for him. <clears throat> also going to SmackDown from Raw. This one might be kind of controversial for some people, too. I think Sheamus is going to go. They've been kind of burying him lately and doing weird things with him trying to make him look bad, but I don't understand why they'd be doing that. But I think he's going to go to SmackDown now to get away from that, freshen things up for him. He'll probably have some better matches there. He'll freshen things up, like give him different people to have to wrestle with. And I think it'd be pretty cool. And I think he's going to take the U.S. title with him. I'll more on that in a bit. Also going there, but also because he's kind of been lost in the shuffle. I don't think being part of Santino's stable is going to be the right career choice for him, so I think a move to SmackDown would probably save his career, is Daniel Bryan. I mean, always, there's the distinction between the two brands. Smack Raw was more of the entertainment show, the glitz and the glamour, and SmackDown was more of the wrestling show, where you can usually see good matches. That's how, It's been a personal preference of mine for a longer time because of that, because that's what I like to see. So for that reason, I think Daniel Bryan would be a great fit on SmackDown. He would do very well. The reason he ended up on Raw in the first place is obvious, because he won in the feud with Miz. But now that that's done, I think he'll go to SmackDown and have some great matches with a lot of the great roster there. Now my last pick to go to SmackDown. I don't know if you feel good to say this, but I want to see Zack Ryder go to SmackDown. I want to see Zack Ryder on my TV. The guy's been getting very popular on the internet. Those videos have been hilarious. I want to be broski of the week someday. That's a goal of mine now, and I'm going to keep trying until that happens. I want to see Zack Ryder on SmackDown. I want to see him feud for the whatever title's on there, not the main title, obviously, like the secondary, the IC of the US. I think he's got the personality, he's got the charisma, but they don't want to use him on Raw for some reason. I say bring him to SmackDown on another booking team. He needs to be somewhere. I mean, they'd be stupid not to capitalize on his new popularity. I mean, I know Vince McMahon hates the internet for some reason and wants people to, like, wants to spite them for all the time. And he hates it when people get popular on their own. I mean, remember years ago he fired Sergeant Slaughter from getting popular on his own because of G.I. Joe and doing stuff without WWE involvement. So I don't know if that might happen to Zack Ryder someday, too, with... Hard to say, but I'd like to see Zack Ryder go to SmackDown and be on TV more. And sky's the limit, really. I mean, guys got getting there. It's pretty good. Cool. I'd like to see it. So that's my picks for SmackDown. Now going to Raw. Usually, whenever there is a draft, there's usually going to Raw is somebody who's been red hot on SmackDown. They'll usually bring them over there to the A show as a promotion, I guess you call it. I I don't know if it's a promotion or not, but usually it's pretty good. I mean, they did it years ago with Kennedy and Cena and other guys and. Usually that's what it means. My pick for that, I think Cody Rhodes is going to be the guy to go to to Raw from SmackDown. I think his feud with Ray has been good. He's been showing the best character he's done in, since he's ever been there. 
And I think they'll it finish his feud with Ray at the next pay-per-view, and then they'll send him over there. I think that'd be cool. I and mean, then have a good feud with the two people. I also think Wade Barrett is going to go to, to Raw and SmackDown. I think they're going to switch the U.S. title back to SmackDown and the IC title back to Raw. Wade Barrett hasn't been doing anything on SmackDown. Core's run its course. I think it's time to move him back over to the A-show where, where he was thriving before, and on SmackDown he's just lost, so I'd say move him back. I think he's the best thing for him. Also going over, I think Drew McIntyre. I'm not a big fan of the guy. I think he looks like spanky on growth hormone, but I don't know. I think they, they're not going to give up with him. Vince McMahon gets his mind set on making somebody a star. It's what he's going to do. So I think a move to Raw, give him some fresh matches, would be something to do. Maybe, I don't know, sink or swim for him, really, though. If he doesn't thrive on Raw this time, I think they might finally give up on him, but I think this is what they'll do, just looking at who's available. Also going over, they actually kind of might have gave this away on WWE.com. I think they're going to move over to Beth Phoenix. I think she'd be a great choice. She's kind of not doing too much on SmackDown now anyway. And I think they should move her to Raw just just in time for the debut of Kong or Karma or whatever they call her. The whole reason they call her Karma, I guess, is because they want to make Karma's a bitch jokes. Can they do that in PG? I don't know, but that's obviously why, or a one-time joke, they're going to name her that. Either way, I think they're going to set her over there. Beth Phoenix versus Kong matches, and I'd like to see it. Given the time, that they, they, can, they could be something. I'd like to see I mean, both have been in Shimmer before, not at the same time. Both can go. Beth Phoenix, I've seen have a great match of mischief there that I really enjoyed. Kong's had great matches there. So two, those two hard-hitting women within the same show, I think would be great. Might I don't I mean I'm not gonna get my hopes up, but I'd like to see it. I mean it'd be interesting. The last one I think that'll be going over to Raw and SmackDown is Jack Swagger. He's been involved in the Michael Cole angle, which needs to die, but that's another still that's another rant. But his involvement in that, I think they'll move it to Raw to make it easier so he can interact with the King more. I know he's been on the show anyway, but make him officially part of the Raw roster is probably the best thing to do for it. Hopefully, when, hopefully they do kill that angle and then he doesn't get lost in the shuffle again. When they moved him to SmackDown and won the world title and then lost it, he was lost. So I think they should move him back to Raw. Obviously, somebody likes him, so let's move him over there and see what he can do. And also, that's my picks from going from each show to show. But usually around a draft and the post WrestleMania time, there's usually some guys who are going to be released by the WWE, future endeavored, if you will. I'm going to make five predictions who I think that's going to be. And my first pick for that. Well, this is this is more of a blanket one. This is no one person. Divas, obviously. There's going to be lots of divas fired. They're all interchangeable. They all have no personality. They're all generic. I'm going to fire those ones and replace them with more interchangeable generic bimbos. And then the cycle repeats. That's just the way it goes. So I don't know. Half, I'm not getting remember their names half time anyway. Usually when you see a bunch come out for a lumberjill match or some random tag thing, I'm like, which one's that? Which one's that? I mean, very few stand out. And actually, because I've Rumors are saying there have been drama with the Divas lately after Trish Stratus came back and got involved in WrestleMania and a lot of them were left off the show, that, except for Lake, of course, but you know why they're off, because you know you want to keep Mrs. Undertaker happy. But then a lot of them were left off. It's actually caused John Morrison to get de-pushed for a bit. Uh, luckily, that's over. And I think to teach them a lesson, there's going to be some firings. So that's why there's going to be some Divas gone and we play some more Divas after with the Diva search and toughen up and those ones. Also, I think Tyler Rex is going to be going. The guy's not great. He's okay. He's got an interesting look. But what are they doing with him? What's he contributing? He's nothing. He's he's going, I think. <clears throat> I also hate to say it. I, I think Tyson Kidd and D.H. Smith are both going to go for the same reason. They're not doing anything with either guy. They looked like they were going to do something with Tyson Kidd after the breakup of the Heart Dynasty, but then they didn't. Maybe they'll keep him around to keep Natalia happy, but it's hard to tell. I mean, small guys like that. He brought in a bodyguard for him. He disappeared. I think he had a few random matches on Raw where he just gets beat, so that's it for him. DH has barely been seen since, and then with Superstars going, there's not much for him to do. And there's also talk from his mom saying that, you know, Diana Hart, the, the wife of the British Bulldog, saying that he wants to get into MMA. And I guess this is his opening there. They're going to let him go, and he's, that's what he's going to try to do, I think. That'd be, I'd like to see it. It'd be cool. I'd hate to see him go because I. I was a big fan of the British Bulldog. I'd like to see him succeed too, but what can you do? I'd like to, maybe TNA, but hard to say. Also, it took me a while to think of who number five will be. You get me as one person is the Usos. They're going. They're, 
you know, any tag team, they come in strong, they disappear, they will replace them with another tag team. Probably just a random pairing of Mark Henry and someone else, like they usually do, but tag team wrestling now is useless now in the WWE. In, the indie scene is pretty good. TNA, it's all right, but it's still not great. It, it just looks good in comparison. If, compared to, like, feds like Shakara and Pro Wrestling Gorilla and Ring of Honor's tag scene, they still blow the TV tag scenes away, but that's 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 my opinion, of course. But we're going to see the Usos go, despite the family lineage. There, there's, not, there's no place for tag teams anymore. At least one of them's going to go. Probably Tamina's going to go as part of the whole diva cleansing thing. So that's my picks for them. I hate to see anybody go, but it would have happened sometimes. So that was my picks for the draft tonight. It airs tonight on Raw. I'm going to be watching. It's usually Draft episodes are usually pretty interesting, so I'll check it out. I hope to hear some discussion on this. I always like that. Anyway, I like getting discussions on the go and talking to people. You can either talk to me on my Twitter or my Facebook or on the comment section here. I try to reply to everything. So if I don't, I just missed it. And don't feel discouraged if I don't. I'll try next time. So until then, until my next video, this is Brave Sir Robin signing off. See you next time.